Hello there, welcome to Heart Explain Therapy and I want to talk about how mobile phones are bad for your health and unfortunately I have to use a mobile phone to record this video so it's okay if you're watching this video but afterwards I need you to put it down and I'm going to explain the psychological problems that are occurring because of mobile phone use. Now, let's take the amount of time that you're going on your mobile phone. We all do it, and if you think about when you're running, what's really going on? Are you feeling really happy and hyper? Are you feeling excited like Christmas morning? I would say you're not. You're feeling pretty low. Not as in like you're depressed because you're on your phone, but you're basically just what I like to call flatlining. You're doing nothing and you're just distracted by something that you always do now. You have different social media apps, lots of contacts and you'll be sending videos, emails, all sorts of things, whatever your personal device does for you. But what this actually does, which is number one psychological problem, it takes away your experience with the real world, a different reality that's actually you outside or in an environment where you're really communicating with people. Now when you really communicate with people, you have to basically um, use your brain on a different sort of frequency. You have to pick it up, you have to use your skills, your confidence levels, your pH levels of blood will change. Um, and this is causing anxiety and depression in a lot of young people. And it's because you're on your phone now for a long amount of time. It means that what you're doing is sort of self-isolating. Now self-isolating is fine if you are productive, if you are doing something personally beneficial to you. So if you was to go on your phone for eight hours because you have your own business to run and you're keeping on top of sales, you're purchasing your next bit of stock, you're basically finding out loads of information because you're studying and you're using that time to benefit you, then you can see how this frequency of sort of the mind will be at a higher level. And you will feel better from that because it's benefiting you. But think about the intake of time on that phone and what really benefits you. What do you really find out? Are you creating sort of new ideas? Are you being inspired for anything personal to you? Are you just using the games app? Are you just using social media to rant and get into a pointless argument? Are you messaging your belief system on a like basically a place where nobody really cares? You can have 2,000 people with all different belief systems. It doesn't really affect anything. Are you doing anything with that belief system? Are you protesting? Or are you just basically projecting this psychological behaviour on the social platform? It's bad for your health. It makes you anxious. It makes you depressed. Because it's just not a real experience. Now one of the other problems it does is if you, can, if you start using this sort of the later the night goes on, you're not winding down for sleep. So if you have problems sleeping, it is because of your phone use. If you have problems with your eyesight, it's because you've been squinting at a lit sort of technical device in your face. Um, I don't know whether you, you might have a hand injury. I know a lot of people now are having pains in their wrist, pains in their thumb. This is, a, this is actually called carpet tunnel syndrome. And this is now, years ago it used to be for people like carpenters who basically use tools a lot. Now, this is being young 
18 year old, 20 year olds are getting this because of the amount of time they're on a phone and also playing computer games. So it's really bad for your physical health and your psychological health. And it will also give you bad sleep. You're not gonna get any sleep if you're using the phone really late on the night. So these are just a few ideas that are coming out at the moment. There's far more, if you dig deeper, there's lots of relationship issues that this can cause. This can cause sort of you not to get real contact with anybody. So you may now text your nan, grand, mum, dad, say three times a day and you think that's okay because you text and you use words. But when's the last time you saw them in the flesh? You surprised them with a bouquet of flowers or a bottle of you know, wine. The interacting of human beings are going. It's like it's leaving us. And if you project this into the future where we get more and more stretched away, you know, if we get that stretched away from real reality or so-called real reality, then we're gonna be just stuck with the SIM card plugged into our head and there'll be no need to ever interact with any human being ever again. Now some people like me would probably enjoy that with my social anxiety, however it's just a sad sort of simple thing, just put the phone down, have a limit. If your phone went off after three hours of use, which is perfectly okay, it's perfectly fine. You only need it for calls, really, in an emergency. Then how many people wouldn't be able to survive? You wouldn't be able to even be comfortable with a three hour limit on your phone. Now, one of the biggest car crash reasons is texting and using mobile phones. It's a pure, horrible distraction. It's a bad thing that I don't think you are capable of changing. And I'm just highlighting the problems that it's caused. So if you've got any of these problems, have a look now on the little app on the phone that tells you how long you've been on it. And a lot of your problems are starting from there. Put that down, get a packet of cards out, get a packet of dominoes if you know what dominoes is, and have a game and have some fun and have some laughs, because that's, that's really what life's about, not texting. You can't engage with someone through a text message. You might as well go back to the old days where you send each other a telegram. 